Hey guys, how are you? This is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how to integrate jQuery data table plugin into ASP.NET MVC application. So before watching this, please watch my previous tutorial that is part 43 of this video series. In that video, I have explained how to send an email in ASP.NET MVC. Okay, so let's get it started. So here in the previous tutorial, I have created this example to send an email in ASP.NET MVC. So let's have the view of it. So when I click on this button, it will send an email. Okay, so let's create, uh, let's fulfill our today's objective. So the first thing is that you just need to download the latest version of jQuery data table. So just go to this website that is data table data tables dot net slash download slash packages so I'll just provide this link into the description box okay so after visiting this website just click on this button download data tables version 1.10.15 so when you click on this button then it, the latest version will be downloaded okay so I have I have already downloaded this file so this is nothing but a zip file you just need to right click on this and extract here okay so I already have extracted here so click on this then go to media folder and then go to GS folder okay so you will find various GS file so I'll just use only this file jQuery.DataTables okay but I have already copied all the files into my project okay so you can also copy all of them so you can open this script folder I have created a separate folder for this and copied all the GS file here okay then the second step is to copy all the CSS file okay so here you can find all the CSS file but I'll just use only this one remember this jQuery.DataTables okay just copy all of them or you can copy only that single file and go to your contain folder I have created a separate folder here and just copied all CSS folder into this data table folder okay now the third step is to copy the image folder here you can find images okay so here you can see I already have copied this image folder here okay the second way is to copy this just select both of file and just copy it and you can visit to your folder and just right click on that just open your folder and paste it here okay so I already have uh, copied here so and then you can click on this icon then you, you you will see all the excluded projects so when you click on that just right click on this and include in your project right now it is disabled because my solution is uh, started okay so in this way you can also include these two folder okay so now the fourth thing is that you just need to open your layout file and then give a reference of them okay just open data table slash this I'll just use this one jQuery.DataTables.js just drag and drop here okay and before that just open your content folder and then data table and then CSS okay and then jQuery.DataTables.css here just drag and drop here okay so make sure to uh, match this sequence first I'm just loading this data table.css file and then script and before that 
make sure to include this jQuery file uh, file reference before uh, before using this reference okay because this this will search for jQuery and uh, jQuery uh, you can say jQuery file okay so now just delete that and create a table now I'm just explaining that how to use this data table so give a class display and then give an ID let's say my data table okay now use thread inside thread you can use tier and then table heading let's say employee name then copy this paste and paste then department and then salary okay so I'm just creating a static table now use the body and then tier now insert some data into this table TD so your employee name let's say John and then copy this and paste now the department would be let's say CSE salary let's say 52,000 now copy this three times okay so paste paste or you can copy and paste more data okay let's change uh, the names Sarah let's change the department EC and uh, let's write cushy and then Pamela okay so I'm just using different names so that you can see different scenario okay let's say Ram Shyam okay so this is this is how you can insert multiple data into a table let's try to run this okay this I'm just loading this so right now you will see only a simple table having few data okay it's running right now okay so here you can see I have taken a table uh, I have taken table and I have taken this class as display then given an ID then three header and then I have inserted few data so this is nothing but a simple table here you can see the view of it okay now I'm going to use the data table okay so go to your script ta script tag and inside the document dot ready function so document dot ready function okay so in in that function you can actually use your data table so I'm just using the hash selector ID selector so I'm just copying this ID so I'm just selecting this table by an ID okay so data table dot just use data table make sure this should be capital letter or maybe this one also okay now let's run this so data table will help you to 
automatically arrange all the item into a uh, great sequence and uh, it will have a great look also so here you can see the data table feature from this drop down you can uh, select how many items you want to display on your page okay so right now it has only 10 items so you can display only 10 okay then this uh, this arrow will short this uh, this record will be shorted by employee name okay so here you can see now if you want to short it by department then here you can see then if you want to short it by salary so all of them have same salary so you can't see the differences okay now you can search by name let's say I want to search Kushi so I just got the record and let's say I will just want EC branch EC department employees entries so here I can see it okay now let's say Pamela then John so jQuery data table provides a uh, couple of various things uh, uh, it will help you uh, to reduce your development time so you just you don't need any searching functionality then paging and then displaying records and we will discuss it more in our next videos so this is how you can use the jquery data table feature okay so let's let's see just copy more item to in order to see the paging functionality just copy more item just copy and save it and just reload it so here you can see the paging okay see now you can display the 10 item per page so it has three pages it divided all the entries into three pages so when you go to this second page and then second then third so here you can see it is showing the record of 21 21st to 28 okay and here with this you can see 1 to 10 record okay so with this button you can go previous and then go to the next record and also you can get the you can show the record of 25 on the same page so here you can see 25 record on the same page so you have 28 records so on the second page it will display only three records okay so I hope this gonna be very helpful for you so jQuery data table basically can be very very helpful in developing project like a student management system inventory management system or hospital management system or many type of project you can use it okay so I hope you can understand it and uh, I'm done here and if you like this video then give a thumbs uh, give a thumbs up and uh, share this video among your friend okay so have a great day meet me in a next video in that video I'll just bring the record from the server okay right now I am using this see I have used this record uh, st this is nothing but a static record I'll just bring it from the server okay so I'll just bind this table dynamically so that it will be helpful to display the record from the data table uh, sorry database okay so hope this one is very helpful for you and uh, thank you very much for watching this have a great day